Yes, now we're live. Hi everyone, this is Andrea from Verbling.com and this is an English class for beginners and we will be practicing asking questions today. I will show you some examples of some questions and we'll talk about how we ask our questions, um, what is the word order, questions have a specific structure to them. So we'll look at that, we'll talk about that and then we will look at some pictures from the news and practice asking questions of our own, um, all in the, the same document. So we have Daniel, good afternoon, how are you? Hello, good afternoon. Fine, thank you. Very well. Good. Good. Not sleepy today? No, I <laughs> sleep all night. Good, good. My <laughs> children has been good with me. Ah, okay, okay, good. <laughs> you got a, you can say, um, I got a good night's sleep. That's I got a good night's sleep. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yes. Great, great. We also have Kishan. Hi, Kishan. Hi, Andrea. How are you today? Yeah, I'm doing good. Thank you. Great, great. Nice to see you. You're back for round two, I think, with me today. Yes, yes. Yes, you are yes. Right. Great, great. OK, and we also have uh, Lee. Or Le, Lee. <coughs> My name is Le. Le, hey? Okay. Yes. Is this your first class with me? No, it's the second time. Sec ah, okay. I think I remember you. Where Where are you from exactly? Uh, I'm from Vietnam. Okay, great. Nice to meet you. Nice to see you nice again. To yes, nice to see you. Okay. All right, Lee, I'm going to just mute you. Uh, you have a lot of extra noise, but when it's your turn to speak, you can turn your microphone on. Okay, and we have Marcel. Welcome back. Hello, Andrea. How are you today? I am fine. What about you? Doing well. Perfect. Good. Yeah, <laughs> perfect. <laughs> good, good, good. Okay, and we have Mikkel. Hi, Mikkel. Uh, hello, teacher. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, how are you? Very well, fine. Uh, thanks. Uh, and you? I'm doing well. Thanks for asking. Okay. Okay. And we have Tarek. Hi, Tarek. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. <laughs> how are you today? I'm doing very well. What about you? I'm doing well. Thanks. Okay. And we have Victor. Victor's back for round three, I believe, with me today. Yes. Hello, yes. Andrea. Hello, hello. <laughs> Good to see you again. Hi again. English beginner day. <laughs> yes, beginner day. <laughs> Good. And we have Zoltan. Hi, Zoltan. Ah, Zoltan, when you enter the chat for the first time, your microphone is mute, so you have to turn it on. There we go. Okay. Hi, I'm Zoltan from Belgium. From where? Belgium. One more time, your sound had a problem. Ah, okay. You can just speak, uh, if you can uh, make your microphone a little louder or just speak a little bit louder. That's good. Tell me where you're from again. Uh, I am from Belgium. I'm sorry, every time you say you're the country, the your sound has a problem. <laughs> sorry. Okay. One more time. Belgium. Ah, okay, okay, got it. I am very close to you. I am in the Netherlands. Hey. Yeah. That's great. Great. Cool. What what um, city in Belgium do you live in? Brussels. in? Brussels. Brussels. Okay, I've been there. It's very nice. So, do you speak French? <laughs> uh, not really. Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, your name looks Hungarian to me. Yeah, I'm Hungarian. Okay, so you're Hungarian, but you uh, live in Belgium. Uh, but I'm, yeah, I'm living in France. Okay, uh, got it. I'm living in Belgium. Belgium, okay, got it. Uh, this summer, this past summer, in last year, I was in Ketchkemate in Hungary. Oh, sounds cool. Yeah, I like Hungary a lot, so I get excited when I see a Hungarian person in class. So Hungarian is Zoltan, originally Hungarian, but lives in Belgium. Hey, great, in Brussels. Yeah. Good, got it. All right, well, nice to meet you. Nice to have you in class. 
So let's see what we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We might have one more person come today. Um, I like doing this class because uh, question asking questions is a little bit different grammar than just saying sentences. A lot of times in verbling, we're always asking you the questions. The teacher asks the question and the student answers, but um, you don't get as much practice asking questions yourself. So uh, we will look at some pictures from the news, really interesting pictures, a lot of things we can talk about with them. Uh, you will see some example questions. I will just review question format, how, what word order, where's the verb, where's the subject, where's the object. Uh, we'll look at that, and then we will all um, ask questions about other pictures, too. So the document, uh, let's see, where is it? Ha, ah, here it is. Okay. Here comes the link in the Verbling chat box for the document. Uh, if you keep the document, the questions that we come up with, I will type them into the document. So you'll have, at the end of class, you'll have a whole document full of example questions. So that's that will be helpful for you. Uh, and let's see, a lot of you are in it now. That's good. I'll put this on the screen as well. I think, Victor, you did the last class with me, so the example one's the same picture, but it's good to review. We have a guy from the Olympics in our first picture. <laughs> so let's make this a little bigger. So uh, basic question asking format. Uh, we'll look at qu ways to start questions. You can start questions with a to be verb, like I am, he is, she is, you are, they are, uh, or auxiliary verbs, helping verbs. These are verbs like can, will, should, would. These kinds of verbs here, uh, we will put them at the beginning of your question. So, for example, we have this guy, <laughs> he's in the Olympics, looks like he's about to start competing. Is he excited about the, the Olympics? You can see I underlined the verb. Um, another way you can use a to be verb is to put it with a gerund or a continuous, like is he having fun? Again, we're keeping is, your to be verb is always, always first, and then you have your subject, he. He is your subject. We don't know his name, so we'll just call him he. And then your other verb, if you have a different verb that goes with it, a second verb, Having, having fun. Some auxiliary verbs. Can, can is your auxiliary verb. It helps the word see. Can, subject, he, and then see. Can he see with that helmet? So this helmet that he has on his head. Uh, will he win the race? So again, auxiliary verb, subject, and then your main principal verb, win. And then should he be nervous? Now we have be here. Um, that's okay to have this in the second uh, as your second verb because the auxiliary verb is always first. Should he be nervous? You could say is he nervous as well. But here adding adding the word should that moves be to this position here. So uh, starting with is is are were was and then can will should would. Those are words, those are verbs that you will have at the beginning. Uh, sometimes you have a verb that is not a to be verb, like have. Uh, you have to add to do. You have to use add do or does or did in front of it. So here we have, does he have health insurance? So we have, now instead of is, we have does, then your subject, and then you have your, uh, your verb. Does he have, do, his teammates, so plural, do his teammates support him? So support is your verb. It's not a to be verb. It's also not a helping verb. So that has to go with do before. And then another one, past tense, did he eat a good breakfast before this event? So we will practice using those a lot today. Uh, your question words, who, what, where, when, why, and how. You have your question word first, and then your verb. Who is he? What is his name? When will he start? Where is he from? Why is he making that face? He has a really strange face. <laughs> it was a very strange um, expression on his face in this picture. And how does this sport work? So you have um, is or an auxiliary verb will or does. How does this sport work? 
Uh, do you guys have any questions about using these um, question structures before we practice? Okay, good. Uh, let's say hi to Adele. Hello, welcome to class. Oh, thank you. Is this your first class with me? Yes, it is. Okay, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Where are you from? I am from Algeria. Algeria, okay. Yeah. Cool. Nice to have you in class. Thank you. So these are just some example questions that go with this picture from the news. It's a, it's a, somebody on the Russian Olympic team at the Olympics. He's preparing to go. You also see some people around him. So today we'll be uh, looking at other pictures. We have a lot from the news today. And we will practice. Each person will ask a question. Practice that. This one's funny. <laughs> Asking a question about each picture. There's a lot of things going on in these pictures, a lot of things we can ask. I also have um, the captions. I will give you the descriptions of the picture after we ask our questions about them. Okay. Yeah. So these are. Yeah, we will be asking questions about these, and I will put. I will type our questions under the picture, so you will have a lot of question examples at the end of this class. Okay. So uh, let's go. Let's see, Marcel, have you done this class with me before? Thank you. Uh, about questions. Yeah. Well, I think it's the first time for me. Okay, let's have you start. Um, so we let's go with this picture here. Let me make this a little smaller so we can see the whole picture. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So ask a question about this picture. Uh, is it uh, is it dangerous? Uh huh. Good. Good. So you're using a to be verb. Is yeah. that goes first. Is, oh, that's really, why is that bold? Is it dangerous? Good. Okay, very good. Okay, uh, let's have Mikkel write, uh, ask another question about this picture. Okay. Um, what, um, for example, uh, one moment, what, uh, what uh, is he doing? Yeah, what is he doing? So you have your question word, then your verb is, your subject is he, and then doing is your other verb. What is he doing? Perfect. Okay, uh, Tarek, give me another question. Okay, should he be uh, a strong, uh, help, uh, strong, uh, strong, stronger enough? Mm, should he be strong, strong, strong enough? enough? Strong yeah. enough. Yeah, should he be strong enough? Yeah, you can say that. You can also add like strong enough to catch the bull, or that's the name of this animal here, uh, or to to um, to beat the bull, <laughs> to conquer the bull. Yes, but you can also just say should he be strong enough? Focusing on should and then he and then be. Very good, very good. Okay, Victor, new question. Uh, why he's barefoot? Ah, okay. So switch he and is. So we have why, then your verb. Okay. Why is he? Uh huh. Barefoot. Why is he barefoot? Yes. You can also say why doesn't he wear shoes? Too. Okay. Other way to ask that. Uh huh. Very good. Why is he barefoot? To be verb. And then it goes after your question. Okay, uh, Zoltan, give me another question about this picture. May I? May I, Andrea? Uh, let's see. Let's have uh, Zoltan go, and then uh, then we'll just keep going in order. Okay, okay, no problem. What kind of animal is this? Yes, good. What kind of animal is this? Yes. Okay. Uh, now, uh, now, Ado. Uh, I want to ask: Is this a kind of game or a competition? Yeah, yeah. Good. Is this a kind of game or competition? Perfect. Okay. Good, good, good. And uh, Daniel. 
Uh, will he be scared? One more time. Will he be scared? Will he be scared? Yep. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I would be scared <laughs> about this. A stray, a stray bull. Yeah. A stray bull. <laughs> a stray bull. <laughs> Catch the bull. Yeah, I would be very like scared to do this. Bull. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay, Kishan. Can he beat the bull? Can he beat the bull? I don't know. I hope so. <laughs> I hope for, for his life, for the sake of his life, I hope he can beat the bull. So you said, can he or will he? Will he? I forgot. Will he. he? Okay, can he. Yeah, both are, both can work can. work the same way. Can or will, same. Can, same same structure, different meaning. Can he beat the bull? Huh? Yes. Yes, I hope so. And le? <coughs> will he win? The fighting. Okay, uh, just the fight. Will he win the fight? We have the word fight is um, a verb and also a noun. Here, this is a noun. So sometimes you can say like um, he likes fighting. That can make fighting like a noun. But here, an event where you fight someone, like a bullfight, we, we just use fight for that. Yes. Will he win? Will he win the fight? Okay, good. Um, now, opening it, everyone asked a question. Opening up just for the group, if you have another question, you can ask it now. Uh, how to ask? What is uh, written down on his t shirt? Uh, I would just say, what is written on his t shirt? Okay. Yeah, when you write something down, it's like, um, I need you to write my phone number down right now. But if it's something that, that already exists, that, that is written now, it's just on his shirt. We don't know when it was written. I would just say what is written. Okay. Yeah. Huh? Good. What is written on his shirt? Okay. Other questions about this? Is, is sorry, go ahead, please. What what is the what is the bull the bull color? Ah, okay. I would say what color is the bull? What color is the bull? Yeah. Yes. It looks like he's gray and white. Okay, uh, I think Marcel had another question too. Yeah. Is he uh, putting his life in risk? Ah, okay. Is he putting his life at risk? At risk, okay. Uh -huh. Yes. Could he possibly be killed? Is he putting his life at risk? Yes. Very good. What else? Uh, what, uh, why people uh, didn't help him? Okay, uh, so you start with why, then give me a verb. Why uh, does? Did so? Yeah, you had didn't. Uh, keep didn't. Why didn't? And then, then your subject. People. Uh huh. The people, or people. And then, uh, then what? Help, help him. Uh huh. Why didn't the people help him? So keeping didn't right after your question word why. Yes. Okay. Other questions. Uh, yeah, in what uh, country this is happening? Mm, okay. In what country? Um, I would say in what country is this happening? Um. Yeah, so we can you can also add in before. Like uh, this is happening in uh, mm -hmm. probably Spain or in actually I think it's India in this one. Mm -hmm. This is happening in India. In what country is this happening? You can say that. Yes. How many how many food can we see? Ah. Can we count? Ah, okay. <laughs> I call them feet. How many feet can feet. we count? Yeah. Plural. Ah. Plural, yes. Good questions, guys. <laughs> I didn't think about <laughs> that one. <laughs> okay, anything else? Should he wear a helmet? Uh huh. That's a good question. Probably he should. Should he? And then he. And then wear is your verb, your main verb, and then your object, a helmet. What should he wear? A helmet. Okay. Can we see? Uh, can we say uh, what the kind of does this uh, soil? Uh, I say uh, what kind of soil 
is this. Yeah. yeah. Who is more scared, the bull or the fighter? <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, who is more scared? You can do a comma. The, or actually, what I like better is who is more scared, colon, two dots, the bull or the fighter? It's hard to tell. Looks looks like the bull's kind of scared in this picture to me. Okay, we've got a lot of questions now on this one. Um, is are all of these questions clear for you guys? Mhm. Mm okay. Okay. Good. How would so, you say mm, double dot? Colon. Co. I'll write it. Write it. Yeah. Colon. C O L O N. Colon. Yes. So that's good. Like. Like uh, what you can also say like what costs more, the bull or I don't know or his shirt. That's a silly question. Uh, but you you know what what do, what and then you know what costs more. What is more scared? What is the best? And then your colon and then you have your your items to choose from. Okay. Uh, I have a question. Okay. Uh, how? How to say about uh, bulls legs or how legs foot? Mm, uh, legs and then the f the feet. They actually we don't usually say that bulls have feet. We say that they have um, a hoof. Hoof is one and then hooves plural. So they have legs and then instead of feet they have hooves. Okay. Yeah, cows have them. Horses, bulls. The really really hard feet, yeah. But people usually with feet we talk about them with people or um, like reptiles like turtles and lizards they have feet. Um, but for for um, for these kinds of livestock, horse, sheep, goat they usually have hooves. Mm -hmm. And then like dogs and cats they have paws instead. <laughs> so we have lots of names for feet in English. I got it. Yeah yeah. Yes, I have a question. What is coming out of the nose of the of the bull's nose? <laughs> that's my that's my question for today. What what is coming out of the bull's nose? <laughs> Oops, apostrophe s. Adrenaline. <laughs> Adrenaline. I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> Good. Okay. Let's uh, let's. Oh. I, I know that will he write to no will he ride the bull is bull? yeah yeah that's good will he ride the bull so you have your auxiliary verb will just helps the verb ride will he ride the bull mm -hmm. will subject verb will he ride yes uh, let me get you guys the description for this picture uh, says where it is. Um, this is, picture was taken last month in January, and um, here it, here's the description in the chat box. Um, here we go. A villager, so somebody who lives in a small town, a villager tries to control a bull during a bull taming festival on the outskirts of a Madurai town, India. Of Madurai Town, India. So this is in India. There is a festival, a big uh, party type thing for the city, and they are taming bulls. Comes from the verb to tame. And when you tame an animal, you take a wild animal and you get them under control. You make it so that you can have them uh, as livestock. You can keep them in your in your um, farm or your house, or um, also for for um, pets too. Maybe you you um, find a wild dog and you tame the dog so it can be your pet dog. It can be in your house. So they're trying to uh, control a wild bull to make it tame. That's that picture from India. Lots of feet, lots of lots of um, feet and hooves and <laughs> saliva probably coming out of the bull. Alright, uh, let's do a new picture. Me. Oh no. Okay, totally different thing happening here. 
No, it's a little bit hard to tell what all these things are, so we can ask some questions about it. Uh, let's start now with Adele. Uh -huh. First question that came in my mind is uh, what they are doing. Ah, okay. So you said what they are doing? Yeah. Uh, but we, we, we need to have what? What is first? Then we need a verb after that. Uh, so you have to switch two words. Uh, what, uh, what do they... Uh, what do they are? Ah, okay. What, what they are, what they are. So just uh, just move, take these words. These words are all good, but we just need to um, move one word to a different place. We need to move what our you... our verb. So we have we have two verbs. We have doing and we have are. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so are is a is a to be verb. You know, is am are. Um, this to be verb should go in the second position, right after what. So what are what they is, doing? What are they doing? Yeah, what are they doing? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yes, yeah. so you would say they are in in a in a regular statement, not a question. We we would say they are doing. Mm -hmm. You know whatever they're doing, but uh, in a question you have to switch. Are they doing? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Good question though. What are they doing? Daniel, new question. What's the name of the vegetables? Can can we can we see? Can we watch? Ah, okay. Um, so start. You start. You you had a good start. What is the name? What's of, the name of the vegetables? Vegetables. Uh, I would say, what is the name of the vegetables we can see? We can see. Okay. Yeah. Or you could say the vegetables that we can see, but that we don't is optional. You don't have to say that all the time. What is the name of the vegetables that we can see, or the name of the vegetables we can see? Yes. Very good, Kishan. Another question. Uh, is he working on field? Ah, okay. Is he working? That's good. Good start. Is he working? I would say, uh, for your preposition, I would say working in a field instead of on a field. Sometimes uh, we, we could say on the field sometimes. Um, like, um, for example, if you're working on a field, maybe the field is totally destroyed. Maybe there was a big storm, and now you have to, uh, to fix everything. You could be working on the field. Um, if you're working to to get all the plants out of the field, I would more I would say in the field, but that's that's super picky. You could say in or on actually, in or on. Is he working on a field or in a field? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Lay another question. Oh. <coughs> why? <coughs> Sorry. Uh, why are they washing uh, vegetable? In mm -hmm. dirty water. <laughs> Good. Why? In dirty lake. Lake, yeah, lake or water. Um, lake. I would, I, I would probably just say water here. A lake is mm -hmm. is usually bigger. So, mm -hmm. but good. Uh, they are. Uh, whoops, sorry. Why are they washing? Uh, add an article. Washing the vegetables instead of washing vegetables. The vegetables in. Dirty water. Yes. Yeah, it looks very dirty. Uh, let's see. Marcel, another question. Yeah. Is that a kind of watermelon? Uh-huh. Good. Is that a kind of watermelon? Mm-hmm. Sorry, I, I have a question about one question, okay? <laughs> okay. It, it's, it's about, well, right now I can see the questions, but it's about uh, are they working in a field, something like that? I oh, don't that remember one. exactly. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but, but it's possible to say uh, are, are they working at a field as well? Is it right? Mm, I would say in or on for that. Um, if you're, for example, you could say at if you are 
in your house and you're not at the field right now, where is he? He's at the field. Uh, with working, though, I would probably say in or on. Okay, work. okay. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Like, he's at work, he's at the field. He's working in the field, um, or working on the field. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good question. <laughs> good question in question class. All right, Mikkel, another question. This question is for you, teacher. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. What is the, I'm nervous. What, <laughs> what is the name the, they are collecting? Is, is that correct? What is the name of they are collecting? Ah, uh, okay. What is the name of, and then I would say of uh, the vegetables? The, of or the, the vegetables are, uh -huh. are they collecting? Yeah, the vegetables. It's kind of the, the same thing as what is the name of the vegetables we can see. So what is the name of the vegetables they are collecting? The collecting is the name, the word more use or yes, no, collecting is correct. Yeah, you can say collecting. It looks like they, they're putting them in these wheelbarrows. That's this container here. They're, it looks like they are collecting them, putting them together in a group. So you can say collecting. Yeah. So, um, also, what is the name of the vegetables that they are collecting? You can also say that, but you do not need that all the time. You can just say, what is the name of the vegetables they are collecting? Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, Tarek, another question. Okay. Uh, how many, uh, uh, sorry, how many cabbages uh, that uh, they are bring the birthday? Ah, okay. Uh, so you're asking about um, the number that they plant per day? Yes. Okay. Say, um, how many cabbages, so that's the name of this vegetable, how many cabbages, um, I would say how many cabbages do they plant every day? Because um, plant here, using this like a verb, this is not a to be verb, it's also not can, will, could, would, should, so um, we have to have do because it's a, it's a different kind of verb. Do they plant every day? Okay. Yeah. You can, or you could also say each day. Or daily, too. Lots of ways to say every day in English. Yes. Okay, Victor, another question. Uh, do we see result of volcanic eruption? Ah, on, you guys are getting... Side. You guys are getting close to the actual thing in this picture. Yes, uh, say your question one more time. Do we see results of volcanic eruption mm -hmm. on, the, on this field? Yes. Do we see results of, have an article, a volcanic a eruption volcanic eruption, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. eruption um, on this field? Yeah. Volcano erupts, all the ash comes, it lands on the field. Uh huh. Do we see results? You could also say the result, results or the result. Okay. Yeah. A volcano of yeah, but definitely a volcanic eruption on this field. Yes. And finally, uh, Zoltan, give me another question. Uh, yes. Uh, how many mm, people are in the picture? Mm -hmm. How many people are in the picture? Are in the picture. So. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so we have a bunch of questions now. Um, if you have another question, you can ask it. Yeah, well, I, I would like to know the, the norm of the uh, recipe where they are putting the vegetables. Oh, on the right side here? Yeah. That's yeah. called a wheelbarrow. I'll type that in the chat. Thank you. Wheelbarrow, one word. Wheelbarrow. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Thank Barrow. you. Uh -huh. Wheelbarrow. Yeah. Good for take, taking um, heavy things to one from one place to another. Yeah. Okay. Other questions. What is the name we are putting on the <laughs> the the cabbage? What is the name? Uh, when, I, when they are putting on. Ah, okay. 
Um, it's kind of like uh, Marcel's question. You can start with what is the name of Sorry, the name of, now we don't know what it is, so I would say the thing. We're not sure the name, so just the thing. What is the name of the thing where they are putting the cabbages? Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yes. You can also say, what is the thing where they are putting the cabbages called? That's another way to ask that. What is that called? What is the thing where they are putting cabbages called? This is all one thing. Thing where they are putting cabbages is all, this whole thing works like a noun. The thing and then a little bit of extra information about it. Okay, what else? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> a, pool. a kind of pool. A wee wheelbarrow, or or a pool. Ah, yeah, a pool of water it could be. Yeah, this this where the where the water is. You could call it a pool. Uh huh. Any other questions? Not as much going on in this one as there's strange things in it, but there's not as much action as the first picture. Let me get you guys the the caption. I'll get you the description of it. They are cabbages, and it actually is after a volcano. Um, let's see. Here comes the description of this in the chat box. Where it is. Villagers clean cabbages covered from ash. So ash is the, the, really the black stuff that comes out of a volcano. Uh, covered from ash from Mount uh, Sinaberg with water. So they're cleaning them with water. During a harvest, a harvest is when you have a farm and you have uh, fruits or vegetables and you are collecting them. You're taking them out of the ground and you're, you're um, putting them in wheelbarrows, getting them ready to sell or to eat. Uh, and then this is in Indonesia, in the North Sumatra province. So big volcanic eruption, volcano erupted in Indonesia. It left ash all over the field. So they're harvesting the cabbages, they're taking them out of the ground, and they also have to wash them. So everything is black, everything is covered in this ash from the volcano. You also see the guy standing up with the wheelbarrow. He has something on his face. It looks like a mask, some kind of a face mask, so he doesn't breathe in all of the, all of the ash. The guy, next, the guy who is um, washing the cabbages, I can't really see it, but maybe he has a mask as well. Yeah, ash is um, it's kind of like dust. I can show you guys a picture. Uh, let's see. Uh, ashes. Uh, if you have a fire, sometimes there's ash left over, or ashes. And then from a volcano, ah, uh, we have volcanic ash. Let me show you a picture. So when a volcano erupts, then the ash goes in the air. It looks like smoke, but it's a powder like this and it makes everything black around it. That's ash from a volcano. It's cool, I went to a beach once where the sand was black because it was made of ash in Hawaii. It's, it's good for skin. Yeah, yeah, it is. For it's supposed to be skin. good. Yes, yes, <laughs> I've heard that too. You can, it, it helps you with your skin, yeah. So that's, what, that's why everything is black here, it's from the volcano, yes. Okay. Oh, we have a new student. We have Nicola. Nicola, hello. Hello. Is this your first class with me? It's the first class I've taken in, uh, in Verbling because oh. uh, I I didn't uh, spend money on this uh, on this Verbling. I just uh, use the community. Ah, okay. And I speak uh, free on uh, on the community. What about this room? This room is a class. Uh, you should have to pay for it. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Did you pay? No, someone uh, invited me. I don't know who. Dinoco, tell me if you want to join to join this class. Oh, weird. Did you get a link to it? Yes. Okay, that's strange. Well, um, yeah, usually you're supposed to buy a ticket to the class. Um, sometimes there are different ways you can get tickets, 
like if you if you invite your friends to Verbling, you can get some credit for tickets. But um, yeah, it looks like you just got a. Oh, he's gone. He could stay <laughs> if you're still listening. <laughs> you can stay. It's just uh, you're just supposed. To, it's it's best if you pay uh, and not just use the link. Okay, that's weird. <laughs> Maybe he'll come back. Uh, yeah, but he's welcome to come to the class. Uh, just in the future, you should pay for classes. Yeah, that's weird. That's very strange. But the, better to pay. It's better to pay because yeah, <laughs> because you guys pay and it's not fair if if he can do it with for free. Okay. Yeah. Sometimes sometimes links to classes pop up and people are like, is this mm -hmm. is this a class or is this a group? Yeah, that happened last week. So honest mistake. It's okay. Okay. Uh. So. Yeah, I think that's all about this picture. It's cabbages with a volcano, there's ash. They're cleaning them. Uh, let's do another picture. Okay. Uh, all right. This one's cool. Let's start with um, Zoltan. Zoltan, are you there? Uh, yeah. Okay, there we go. Uh, uh, what are they doing here? Hey. Uh huh. What are they doing here? Good. Yes. Okay, Victor. Um, what kind of instruments uh, they use? Are they using? Are they using? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Huh? Yeah. Looks like different kinds of things used for snow or ice. But we're not sure. I'm not sure what all of them are called. Okay, Tarek. Okay. Uh, is uh, this ice building designed by a civil engineer? <laughs> Good. <laughs> is this ice building designed? It is designed. Is it designed by a civil engineer? Question. Okay. All right. Uh, Mikael. Oh, okay. Sorry. Um... How da no? How how does this building? One moment. How does this building to finish? Or? Ah, okay. How does this building uh, finish? How um, that's kind of a strange question. How does this building finish? No. <laughs> yeah. Um, like talking about completing the the building, like they're done. They they finish with all the walls, and it's it's um, ready to. How long is possible? Or? You could say ah. You could say how long does it take? Like does for, it take for yeah. time? Yeah. To finish. Then, uh huh. To finish. Then what? To finish, and what ah. are they finishing? Or finishing, or to finish. How 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 long does it take to finishing? No, no, to finishing, no. So, uh, in the first question that you asked, you were you're talking about um, uh, uh, how do they finish this building? So we can add how long does it take to finish this building at the end? So just so you have more information. What are what are they trying to finish? Well, they're finishing this building. Okay. Yeah, but definitely how long does it take? So with time, maybe it will take two weeks, maybe uh, one hour if they have enough people working. It depends. Yeah, that's a good question, though. How long does it take? I don't think we have had a question about time like that in this class yet, so that's good. Okay. Yes. Okay, where are we now? We are on uh, Marcel. Sorry. Uh, could uh, we live inside of that building? Uh huh. Could we? So we have an auxiliary verb. Could we? And then your other verb, live, 
inside this building. It's an ice palace, out ice castle, snow castle, maybe. Okay, Le, another question. Uh, <coughs> should be uh, should uh, uh, sorry, should we be wearing a jacket when we come to inside? Uh huh. Should we be wearing jackets? So for jackets, let's have it be plural because we is plural, more than one person. Should we be wearing jackets? when we go inside, we don't need to, just inside this building. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, very good question. Probably very cold. <laughs> you need some jackets. Yes. Okay, Kishan. Is it making a religious place? One more time. Is there are building any religious place? Uh, a religious place. Okay. So they is your subject. That's the what's doing the action. So it would not be is they. What's the other kind of way we can do that? So it's not is are they, they, but are they? Uh huh. Are, are they? they? Are they? Uh huh. Sorry, are they? Okay. So then are they, and then what's your other verb? Are they building? Building. Uh huh. Oops. And then the object, what are they building? Building a what? Uh, building a religious place. Uh-huh. A or religious place. A religious place. Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah, it looks like it could be some kind of a, a religious building, a temple or a, a church or a mosque or something like that. Yep. Yeah. Yes. Okay, and now we're down to Daniel. Uh. Are they building a kind of ice castle? Mm -hmm. Are they oops, are they building a kind of ice sculpture? Yes. So be careful when you're saying sculpture. It's tricky because we have a P and a T next to each other. But you have to get both. sculpture. Sculpture. Yeah, yeah. An ice sculpture. Okay, so everyone asked a question. More questions from the group. If you have another question, you can ask it now. How many people are there working? Uh huh. How many people are there working? Good. Why is this bold? What else? How many dom uh, domes uh, uh, in the top of this building? How many? Yeah. How many domes are in the top? of this building. Yep. These domes are these curved parts here. Okay, other questions? A difficult one. I'm going oh. to try. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Uh, what uh, good the temperature be in order to maintain uh, this building, right? I don't know. <laughs> okay, that's that's pretty good. Um, what does what's good? Good. I said good. Wood. Yeah. Okay. Ah. Okay. What would the temperature be in order to maintain this building? And I would add a little information about uh, this building's structure or something like that. Yeah, I say it uh, right, but I don't know if, if it's correct. Yeah, yeah, that's... So what, what would the temperature be in order to maintain? I would add, um, what would the temperature have to be? Have to be, okay. Yeah, so you have a requirement. There's a temperature requirement so that it won't melt. So if it's above zero degrees, maybe it will no longer be like that. It will not look like that anymore. So I would have a requirement, have to be or need to be. What would the temperature need to be? Uh -huh. And then, yeah, so you have a requirement, and when you have that requirement, it's in order to maintain this building structure. Yeah. Yeah, yes. Sorry. Yeah. Good, that's all. That you got the, all your basic things right in that one. That's good. 
I think the frags mix with the other picture. Oh, okay. So probably. Uh oh. Yeah, that's. Oh, I see. Okay. Oh, did we lose a picture? For. Let me check. Um, yeah, we might have. I might have accidentally um, written something over a picture. Oh no, it's it's just because I typed a lot and now we have extra space. But we can. Um, okay, we'll keep that one at the top of the page. I think it's okay. I think. Um, oh, I see what you. Oh yeah, yeah. What happened? That's really weird. Sometimes I make mistakes when I have um, a lot of questions. Um, ah. We had, they're all mixed up now. Okay, this is this is a mix of this ice picture and the cabbages. Thanks for pointing that out, Daniel. I'll fix it after class. So if you keep this link, okay. you'll see. I'll, I'll okay. fix it after. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. That's yeah. That's. <laughs> it was like yeah, I'm uh, talking about volcanoes, and then we're talking about ice. More, and, more it's <laughs> like that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The Google documents. Yeah. I'm, I always have trouble with pictures and words in documents. I mess them up all the time. Yes. Okay, well, let's, um, I'll leave that. I will fix that. So if you want to use this document to look at um, after this class, I will fix these. So let's, uh, let's just start clean. Let's do a new picture so we don't add more to this. Uh, this one's funny, too. I wanted to get some questions about it. I think there's a lot of questions you can ask. Oh, by the way, the 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 ice one, it's um in China, and they made they just it's basically they these professional um, snow snow builders snow building builders they built a big snow castle in China, in December. Okay, uh, so this one now we have a this really strange picture, <laughs> lots of questions. Uh, Daniel, can you give me a question for this one? Where is the children body? Uh -huh. Where is is the now you can say where is the boy? The just boy. a boy because that means a, a male child or just where is the child? This is one person so we call it a child instead of a children. Okay. Yep. Yeah, where so is the plural? Yes. Yes. Okay. Le, another question. <coughs> why is his why is he taking take uh, <coughs> why is he uh, bad here <laughs> why is he what <coughs> why is he bad in <coughs> bad Sorry. in Bat, can you type? Can you type your question for me in the chat? Yes. Why he a bat? Why is he? I would say, why is he bathing here? So putting it in continuous. Yeah, <laughs> maybe he's taking a bath in this in this bucket. Yeah, why is he bathing here? Uh huh. Yes. Mm, bathing. Bathing. Uh huh. Okay, Marcel, give me another question. Yeah. Uh, is is this a type of magic uh, trick? Because uh -huh. I can see the child's uh, body. <laughs> yes. Is this a type of magic trick? That's a, that's a good question here. Um, is this a type of magic trick? Because I can't. Yeah, I would I would just say in the question there, and then because I can't see his body. Yeah, could be a magic trick. <laughs> okay. 
All right. Uh, let's see. Let's go now to um, Miko. Yes. Um, is this uh, picture taken by the photographer, uh, professional photographer? Uh -huh. Is this is this picture take taken taken by a professional reporter? Yeah, reporter or photographer. You can say those Photo. two. Photographer. Uh huh. Yes. Is this picture taken by a professional reporter or photographer? Yes. Okay. Uh, let's see. Going now to Tarek. Give me another question. Okay. Uh, is it an ungeable uh, sun path? Mm, one more time. Is it an ungeable sun path? Is it an enjoyable what? Sun path. Sun path. Sun path. Mm, um, can you type that word, please? Okay. okay. Google chat. Google chat. Okay. Sun bath. Ah, okay. Is it an enjoy you, enjoyable sun bath? Um, usually we we actually use that more like a verb, like sunbathing. Um, I would say, is it an enjoyable sunbathing experience? Yeah, it seems like you should. We should have sun bath, but that's not so common. More is like you you go sunbathing or you you experience you have an experience sunbathing. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's why I didn't. I know those words, sun and bath, but I wasn't sure. <laughs> is it is it sunbathing? Okay. Uh, now, Victor. Um, how hot was there that he got inside the bucket? <laughs> how hot? Um, how hot? Like you're talking about, it's hot outside, and he has to go in the bucket. Yeah. Okay. Okay. How hot was it for him? to go in the bucket. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Hi, Jan. Hi. Would you like to ask a question about this picture? Uh, is it look like Photoshop combination? <laughs> Good. Is it a Photoshop combination? Yeah, looks like it could be. It's like, is this even a real picture? I don't know. <laughs> That's a good question, too. Is it a real picture? Okay. Uh, I want to ask more questions about this picture, but I need to um, stop very soon. So I will give you the, um, the uh, description for it. So this is... Um, I don't think this is Photoshopped. It looks like it could be. Um, here we go. Ah, where's the hangout? Okay, so we have, um, this is a boy sits in a bucket as he plays while waiting for his mother to fetch water. She's going to go get water from a nearby hand pump to bathe him. So he's waiting for a bath outside a makeshift hut. So a hut is a small place where you live. Um, you might live in a hut. If you, uh, if you don't really have a, a big house, you could have a hut. Um, it's a makeshift hut, so it's like a temporary house um, in southern, in the southern Indian city of Chennai. <laughs> so he's waiting for a bath. Maybe he will take a bath in the bucket. His mother is getting water for him. <laughs> That's silly. Okay. All right. Good. Good. So uh, I will fix the document with the pictures, and um, then. You guys can, uh, you'll see it in a few hours. You'll see that I've, I've fixed it. So you have all your question examples. Um, I have to start my next class. My next class is writing, and we will be writing invitations. Um, I think that's a full class. Maybe I'll see you then. If not, have a great day, and I'll see you later. Thank you, Andrea. You Bye, too. guys. Bye-bye. Thank you, Andrea. Bye. 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 Thank you.